Hi everybody, it's Fibo Group and you're watching to the Market Watch Review. The majority of large bourses located in the Asia-Pacific region advanced. Hong Kong is an exception. Stock 600 Europe is continuing yesterday's 1% slide and is currently off 0.8% in late morning turnover. Futures on the S&P and Nasdaq are trading lower. The dollar is rising due to the higher than expected US CPI and the strong expectation that the Fed will raise its rate by 100 BP in the next two weeks. The dollar is now at JPY 139.40 and the euro is down more than cent from yesterday's peak. Even positive economic news, such as the Australian jobs report, has not been able to reduce the greenback. After being returned from dollar 1750 yesterday, gold is back at its lowest point. August WTI traded at dollar 93.40 its lowest in three months. Asian Pacific Market The Australian dollar was not lifted by China's announcement that it is looking at lifting its almost two-year-old coal ban. Australia's employment report, which was much stronger than expected, and news that China may lift its coal ban were both disappointing. The Aussie has traded slightly lower after trading higher over the past two sessions. However, it is still within yesterday's range. Tokyo raised its COVID alert as the number of cases rose. According to reports, Tokyo had 3,500 infected people on July 1. The US dollar has increased to JPY 139.40. Market of Europe The Tory party is currently trying to pick Johnson's successor. After yesterday's vote, eight candidates remain. Sunak received 88 votes, followed by Mordaunt, 67, and Truss. 50. Today, another vote can eliminate someone. The euro is still close to parity. Yesterday's dip was only slight and it fell briefly below parity, but the euro rebounded slightly to $1.0120. Sterling is also near its lowest point, even though the euro is still pinned at its lows. The two-year lows for this week were reached Tuesday at slightly above $1.1805. It is currently above 1.1820. Market of America The headline inflation in the United States surprised everyone for the fourth month. The headline inflation rose by 9.1%, which was lower than Tuesday's rumor that there would be a double-digit print. However, this was the third consecutive month with a monthly increase of 1.0%. Today's PPI is not as high as yesterday's CPI. The modest increase in weekly jobless claims over the past week is not noticed, particularly considering last week's sharper than expected jump in non-farm payrolls. The Bank of Canada was the first country with high income to raise 100 BP. The current target rate is 2.50%. Governor Macklem explained the reason for the increases was to increase the chance of a soft land. This is becoming increasingly difficult. For the week, the US dollar traded at near CAD 1.3075, a new high against the Canadian dollar. The year's high was reached at 1.308 on July 5. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.